boys and girls, this is our first week in May, and I promise to do things this month that we can learn from. So we're doing a little science, we're doing a little STEM, we're doing uh, a rainbow, and we're learning how a rainbow is really round in the sky. So we're going to start with our rainbow, and I want you to know something, okay? Miss Terry put some information on here because when I think about a rainbow, and I just saw one last night, by the way, it's just a beautiful miracle in the sky, isn't it? It is something that we see that's really light when the sun partially comes out after a rain, and that light reflects through the water and through the raindrops that have come down and it just makes all the colors. And the truth about it is, we don't even know all the colors. We've narrowed them down to seven colors, but everybody says those colors blend together and inside those blendings are colors that we can't even see. But if you're riding in an airplane, that rainbow is round. God really made the rainbow round, and you want to ask why, but maybe it's the shape of the earth, and I feel like the earth is safe from ever being totally flooded again, just like God says. But what we're going to do today is we're going to make a nature board rainbow, and so we're going to put the beautiful colors of nature into a rainbow that we paint. Okay, so, I mean, you can look for rainbows everywhere, and they're usually right after a rain, and the sun, for you to see one, has to come back out just right. It has to be just placed, just perfect in the sky. But when I make a rainbow, and we're not going to have lines on our board, okay? We're just going to do our own, we're going to make up our own way. Now, I'm going to do the order of the colors the way they are supposedly done in the rainbow. And I'm going to start with red, okay? And really, it's by a name, and it's in a book about a leprechaun, and it's Roy G. Biv. And someone just made his name up because his name has the letters of the rainbow in it. It's red, orange, yellow for Roy. G is green. Biv, which is blue, indigo, violet. So, we're going to go by that today. And Miss Terry is going to put a little bit of water in my red. Sometimes if your red or any other color gets a little dry, you may have to do what I'm doing. And that's okay, because you still have paint and you can still mix it a little bit. Now, don't mix yours with water unless it's like mine and it got a little dry. I must have left the top open, but that's okay. I can show you what to do when you get in that predicament, can I? You just put a little water on your paintbrush and you can still have red paint. Now, you're gonna have to make it, the red part, all the way around, okay? So to make a round rainbow, and I want you to know this is true. From in the sky, it is round. Miss Terry's seen it when I have seen it. I've seen it more than once, okay? It is round all the way around circle. It's just, it's just amazing to me. But when it gets to the ground and we're standing on the ground, the ground just cuts that rainbow in half and we can't see the other half. It interferes. So the earth, from the earth standpoint, when we're standing on the ground, you can't see it. So you're gonna get this little foam brush and that'll help you with, uh, with uh, you know, making a bigger circle, okay? But I want you to look at this one that's in your picture. And that's what we're gonna go by. And the next color is orange. Okay. Now, if your if your uh, colors get you know smaller, you can also get out your small paintbrush. Now, see, orange is good, so I don't have to uh, I don't have to put water in it. Okay, it's not dry. So here goes my orange, and the orange does kind of lap over the red. See, 
it can lap over because the colors in the rainbow are really all blended together into making new colors, okay? There's kind of, a, to me, a lot of secrets in a rainbow that we don't even know about. But we know that there are beautiful colors in it. And somehow, like a miracle, they're blended together to make more beautiful colors. And then the colors look like they're apart from each other, but they're really not. You see how that sort of blends together? I didn't put it on top of it. I put it right in front of it. Now, I'm gonna put, uh, so I won't take too much time cleaning brushes, okay? I'm going with yellow now. You're gonna get one brush, so you are really gonna have to dip and clean and maybe even under the water faucet, clean out before you do your next one. And dry it off real good with paper towel, okay? But now we're going with yellow, and the yellow light is going right a little, uh-oh, Miss Terry. I got a little bit of orange in my yellow. That's okay. Mercy. If you do something like that, you might run to the sink, okay? I shouldn't have done that, should I? But you might do it. Just like me. So, so far, we've got red, orange, yellow. Huh. When you're using paints, everything you do kind of mixes on it, doesn't it? I might go over that a second with my bigger brush, okay? It might get a little more yellow. How about that? I can't do it. i tell you what I will do, though. I will do it when it gets drier. I'll make that. You can, if you do what I did, you can go over it, and or you don't have to, because like I said, the colors are blended together. And now I think I can use my big brush, y'all. I don't have to use the foam brush. I think I can just do it with this one, because the, see that? So now we have yellow. Miss Terry's gonna wash this out. Okay, so we've got red, orange, yellow. Now it's time for green, okay? Now, I'm just going to use my uh, big brush that I gave you guys, okay? And I'm going to make green paint. A green stripe, okay? So, let me wash out real good. Squeeze it out. Okay, now, the green, I'm going to get a little closer to the yellow, okay? Now, uh, guys, if you're running out of paints, just have your mom call me. I, I know some of you have been doing art with us a long time. And if your paints are running out, I can make you some new paints, okay? So, I don't want you to worry about making new, not having enough paint. And, okay, red, orange, yellow, green, and we have three more colors, blue, indigo, violet, okay? So I'm going with my regular blue next. I'm just trying to straighten, and you might want to go back and forth like me, just straightening out your colors a little bit, okay? So I have green. It's gonna be so pretty. And now I have blue. Wash out. And now I have blue. Okay, so I'm making a little blue circle. to go over it several times to make it bluer. See what I'm doing? Getting more blue on my brush so I have a really round blue circle. And 
then I'm going right close to the green so I don't don't leave any of the board showing so you just kind of go over it in places that you leave it's not going to be a perfect circle because remember we didn't have lines so don't worry about it just think about going round and round that's all you have to think about going round and round till you get a nice blue circle that's pretty good isn't it now indigo is a hard color to make okay because it's in between violet and purple okay so to make indigo we're going to kind of do a mixture okay now I want to show you something. When you're mixing your colors, if you want to get a paper plate, you can. I usually don't because I can just do this. Like, I'm going to get a little bit of purple, and I'm going to get a little bit of blue on me, and I'm just going indigo right here. It's kind of a blue and purple mixed together, and that way, if you have too much purple, see? In fact, it looks like a darker blue, doesn't it? But it's sort of the blue and the purple mixed together. Wow, it's getting smaller and smaller, huh? Hmm. And you can keep going round if you want to put more blue on it. So we're gonna let that be our indigo color, okay? Now, I just want to tell you that a lot of people make their indigo differently, but what it means is the blue and the purple are blending together before it becomes purple in the middle, okay, or violet in the middle. So that's what's happening. They blend together. Now, the picture put pink in the middle, and if you want to do that, you can. Um, I'm not going to do that because I'm going to stick with the color violet okay so I'm just gonna put the true violet in the middle I'm gonna do that if you want to put pink in the middle that's fine because like I said there's 10 million other colors in the rainbow that we cannot even see you know and sometimes copies look different on paper than they really are in real life so our rainbow is finished see that's a circle rainbow okay i hope you really really love it now guess what guys we're not finished with it we get to do one more thing and it's not going to be with paint i'm going to put my brush in the water so we don't dry out okay now this is what we're doing next okay we're going to take this little bag i gave you that has all the different colors on it. Now, what you're gonna need is you're gonna need your glue, okay? This is the reason this is called a nature rainbow, because it's gonna have a little bit of nature and a little bit of the beautiful colors on it from things that grow outside, okay? So, open up your glue and make sure the top is not covered. Hopefully it's not. Now, I've got an orange little petal here, okay? Now, if yours is bent like mine is, you might wanna straighten it out a little bit, okay? And I'm gonna put some glue because that orange petal is gonna be right over the orange on the board. And you see I put a good bit of blue and you may wanna wait a night to do this and let your paint dry. I'm not because I wanna do it with you okay but see it's going to stick right down don't worry if some glue is showing because when it dries tomorrow see that go that blends right in doesn't it just stick it down let it puff up some it doesn't have to be flat okay because remember it's part of nature okay now we have some little yellow flowers and we're just going to put some yellow some glue on back and stick it on the yellow see isn't that cute and it'll be dry tomorrow. Oh, I got three of them. Okay. We'll put about three on there. Keep it in the yellow. And I'm going to put 
one more yellow. Sort of, it blends in with the rainbow color. Just another little uh, miracle of nature in it that we have the colors of the rainbow in all of the things we have in nature outside. Isn't that cool to know? I just think that's the coolest thing ever. Now, you don't have to put glue all behind your leaf, okay? If you have a big leaf like this, or whichever leaf you had, because I had several kinds that I put, that we put in your bags, and I want y'all to know something. Miss Terry doesn't put all these bags together and all this cutting out, because the girls up front, when you come in the library, they help me a super lot, okay? So I want to give them a big thanks, because you guys, I may not have time to do all this fun stuff to get ready for y'all if they didn't help. Look at the blue flowers. I love it. I'm putting them in the blue. Kind of going over in the purple, and that's okay, too. Just keep mashing them down, okay? You don't have to put glue all over the back. Just put it on one part of the flower and mash it down till that part stays, okay? It'd be okay. It'd be okay. <laughs> so we got three little blue flowers and you're just decorating on the flower's color, okay? It's what you're doing. If it laps over with another color, that's cool too. Oh, the red flowers. We almost forgot about them, didn't we? So here's red way up here at the top, isn't it? Way up there. If you just put a little glue behind the one that you like, It'll stay down, okay? It's just gonna need to dry. You might wanna hold your finger on it in a minute. These are kinda puffy flowers, but they're pretty, aren't they? So you may wanna hold that part down a minute, okay? But don't use too much glue trying to make it work, okay? It'll work and it'll stay, I promise you. It just needs a night to dry, okay? So we are not worried, not one little bit. Now I'm putting one more red flower up over here in the red. And you see I'm just holding it down with my fingernail, which I'm getting glue all over. <laughs> it's okay. We're having fun, so we're okay. We've got wipes, we've got water, and we can clean our fingers. So don't worry about cleaning your finger every time you put a flower down, okay? Just wait till you're totally finished. Oh Lord, I've got a big old purple one to go in the middle. Y'all see that big purple thing I have in the middle? Okay, so I'm gonna put glue in the back and I'm just gonna have to put the purple in the middle. <laughs> That's cool, I covered up all, my, all of my uh, if you wait till it dries, these might glue down better, okay? Mine's wet, so it's not going to glue down as well as yours. And this is not stuck at all, so I'm going to try one more big time. How about that? How about that, dude? And I'm not going to touch it anymore. Now, I'm going to move this out of the way so you can see it. And like I said, keep holding yours down. I'm trying to make make everything fit in the video. So I'm gonna stop and that's our nature rainbow. It's on a board, so it's called a nature board, okay? And I'm gonna do something next for y'all. I'm gonna put the drawing right here for a minute. It's gonna be a circle rainbow again, but this one was so much fun, I had to do it for you. And a little dab of glue will do. But all you do is take the pieces out of the bag. It's so much fun. Okay, watch. Now, remember red, orange, okay? So, you put your bread down, because it's the bottom. You put your orange right in the middle of it. Leave some red showing. This is so cool. Easy way to make a circle rainbow. And then you put your yellow, red, orange, yellow. Okay. 
and then green. In this coat. There. And then blue. I just love this. And then violet. Now, you're going to have to imagine indigo's in there, okay? <laughs> Indigo just didn't fit, but it's blue, indigo, violet, and let's just remember when it's purple and the blue mixed together, that's where the indigo is. But that's really cool. There's your circle rainbow in another way. Don't you love it? Okay, I'm going to put it right there. You can hang it up if you want to. If you have some string or a pipe cleaner or something, you can just punch a little hole in it. If you want to hang it and let it twirl around, or whatever you would do, but it's called a little dab of glue will do. And that's all you need to make a circle rainbow. Okay, I'm really liking this lesson today. I wanna show you something extra that I put in just for you and just so we could work with our hands in a different way today. Okay, this is a button. Now, I hope you can tell this is a letter T because my name is Miss Terry. That's my first name. T is for Terry, okay? Now, inside your bag, you're gonna have a blank one, okay? And you're gonna have buttons, okay? Which you can arrange the way that you want to. This is just the way I arranged them on my T. Now, I wanna tell you something. Don't do this on your letter. Don't just take your glue and glue all around and stick the letters inside, okay? Because that's gonna be messy. Every time you do a letter, and I'm not really gonna glue on this one because I wanna make sure I have enough for everybody. So what, what you're gonna do is you're gonna put glue behind the button, stick it down where you want it, don't touch it. And please don't pick it up at all until tomorrow. Leave it flat, 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 right where you make it, okay? Because when you pick it up and you hold it by your hand, they're gonna all drop off because the glue's not dry. So, one drop of glue behind each little button and stick it down, okay? And you're just gonna put your buttons on top of the letter I draw. And you're gonna try to cover up the black line, okay? Because I'm gonna write your initial and you're gonna glue buttons on top of it. Like, there's really gonna be one straight line here. I put two rows of buttons so my T part could look bigger. And you're gonna have plenty to do it the way that you want to. You are probably gonna have two big buttons if you want them at the beginning of your letters. Like if you're an E, you might want a, a big button at the bottom and a big button at the top. But there are some directions to go with this and I hope it helps you out. And I, I just hope you can hang this anywhere in your room. You can hang it on your door or on your wall. But this means it belongs to you. I'm T for Terry, and you'll be whatever the first letter, which is called your initial. Your initial is important. It's the first letter of your name, and it's what people remember you by. So you have a little string to hang your banner up with that. Now, the last thing we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be drawing a picture. Okay, now this is a little puppy dog and I, I just love him the best. So that's what I'm going to be drawing with you. And you have a little place under here to draw it, so I really don't need that paper, do I? Okay, so <clears throat> I'm going to get my pencil. I hope you can see it. And we're going to make the steps. So we start with number one, don't we? We always start, and this is how we learn to draw pictures. Unless you're one of those people that can just pick up a pencil and draw, draw, draw without even looking at it. And what's cool is with your pencil, you can erase, can't you? Okay, now after that, we're going to make the top of his little head. Okay, and his little nose. And I'm just going to draw the nose, okay? Next, oh good, we make the little ears. I'm trying to draw upside down, so don't make fun of my puppy dog, okay? Oh, start way up here. Okay, so we're gonna start on the side and go down to the bottom with puppy dog ears. 
Okay, go to the side and go to the bottom. Okay, now if your puppy dog ears don't look the same, just don't worry about it. <laughs> now, we're making eyeballs. Okay, see that? And we're making, you know what people call puppy dog? Man's best friend. I think it should say men's and women's best friend, our boys and girls best friend, because we all love our dogs. It's real easy to make a puppy dog smile. You just start under the middle of the nose and make a little curve, one to the left and one to the right. Now, I want you to notice they're doing this a little bit differently, aren't they? They're drawing the body last. They're drawing the legs first. Isn't that different? Okay, let's do it. You ready? So we're gonna move down a little bit under his ears and we're gonna make one leg and his little paws and kind of make it come straight up like that. And then we're gonna make another leg and come up like that, okay? Now, how in the world? Okay, so we're starting under his chin, okay? And we're gonna go around in the bottom and go in between his legs and come back up, okay? So, that's our body. Now, we're missing the two little back feet. So, there's one little foot sticking out and there's one little foot sticking out. And to make those, I just started right there by that line, okay? You can see how they did it too. All you do is follow what they did and you'll have a puppy dog. <gasps> Don't forget the tail, Miss Terry. So we're having a nice little tail. It just comes up, not a super big tail. And it goes right back down. Now, you have a nice little puppy dog. What's cool about him is if you want to make spots on him, you can. Looks like a little Cocker Spaniel, doesn't he? Some of you may have. You may color your dog. You can name your dog. Mine is going to be a girl dog. And I'm going to, for some reason, this name just popped in my head. So if I had one, I would name her Ruby. Because she's so cute. So I'm gonna put her name there. My dog is gonna be Ruby. How about that? And then you can color her whatever color you want your dog to be. I want her to have a little tip on her tail. How about that? <laughs> Those are always cute. But anyway, you can add little things like I'm adding the little toes if you want to. But I'm gonna stop this video because I know it's getting super long, but you can keep drawing on your dog, okay, if you want to. And I hope you love it. I hope you love our lesson today and you learned about why rainbows are really circles. From where we stand, the earth cuts it in half, doesn't it? So to us, it looks like half of a rainbow, but it's really a big circle from the sky. And um, the last thing, we're going to hang in there because I want you to get ready for this. You are going to paint a little uh, flower pot, okay, for mom. This is kind of extra for Mother's Day. And I want you to notice that in your thing, you have to use the acrylic, okay? Don't use your watercolors because your watercolors are not going to stick, okay? Um, I'm going to show you some different things that you can paint. And like I said, sometimes I need to save save my uh, flower pots here to make sure I ordered enough. Because we had a lot of more people sign up. And that's super good. I love that. Don't get me wrong. But you can make circle flowers. You can make circles going around. You, make, you can put dots in the middle. You can make circle flowers if you want to. You could make a rainbow just like we just did, couldn't you? I'm sorry, I'm not painting with real paint. It's because I want to use this again. You can, you can paint butterflies, polka dots, 
stripes. I just put a lot of different ideas. Or you can make up your own way. So your uh, pot is already a certain color, okay? So if you don't want to, you don't have to paint a, pot, a background, okay? If you want to stripe at the top like they did, you can. The last week of the month, if we have any time left, we are going to plant some grass seeds in it, okay? So yours may look like this if you can keep it watered, keep it by the sunshine, it may grow grass like this, okay? But your directions are under here. Um, use our little pots of paint, okay, like I gave you at the beginning. Do not use your watercolors, it won't stay, but that paint will stay on this plastic, okay? So, I hope you have fun and decorate your, uh, bat, your uh, flower pot for your mom. If you want to paint letters, you can write your name on it. Uh, you can get someone to help you say Happy Mother's Day, whatever you would like to do. So, this is our art kit for the first week of May, and I hope you learned, used your hands, and you can even Google rainbows. Google circular, I'm sorry, I started to say circular rainbows. Rainbows that are circles, okay? You can learn more about them and have lots of fun. I hope it's great today. And I will see you guys the second week of May with all kinds of brand new ideas to learn from. Bye-bye.